Yo, yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the JTC YouTube channel. 100,000 subscribers. Okay, 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 please, please, no. If you guys were not part of the live stream when we hit 100K, I just want to say thank you so much. This is a huge accomplishment. I'm very humbled and honored to uh, to be one of the first Navy channels to hit 100,000 subscribers. And on top of that, other good news, JTSuits.com is now live. It's been a lot of work in the makings. Um, again, huge shout out to everyone who's picked up a shirt so far. I also want to give a huge shout out to my brother who's been helping me a lot on the back end, um, helping me build the whole website, design a lot of the merchandise. All right, so I was recently at the grocery store with my wife, and there's one thing, this made me think of a bunch of bad habits that are really hard to break since I've been out of the Navy. Like personal space, it really freaking triggers me though, man. I don't know what it is. When I'm out in public, if people aren't adhering to personal space, if someone's like comes up and bumps me, or if I bump someone, I'm like, oh shit, sorry, man. Or if someone bumps me, I'm like, dude, what the f is wrong with you? Why are you bumping me? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. But I'm very conscientious of personal space because, on like I said, on the carrier. You're living with 5,000 people on a floating freaking steel war vessel. You have zero personal space. So I think I've just went to the very, very other end of the spectrum. And Jesse, I love you, but please, when we're at the grocery store, let the people get their macaroni. They'll just walk in front of people as they're looking at the shelves. Number two, this other bad habit that was really hard to break was walking on the right side of everything. You're gonna get this drilled into you starting from boot camp. You're always gonna have to walk on the right side of the P-way, hug the right side of the P-way, hug the right side of the wall. When you're walking, anytime you're going up and down somewhere, you're on the right side hugging it. Same thing when you're on the ship out deployed. No matter what direction you are walking on the ship, when you're out at sea, you're always walking on the right side. If you're going forward to the bow of the ship, you're on the right side. If you're walking aft, you're hugging the right side. That's just how the traffic always flows on the P-ways. So that is literally drilled into my brain. Always walk on the right side of anywhere. On the sidewalk, in the grocery store, <laughs> at the mall, at my own freaking house. I'm always on the right. And that shit pisses me off, dude, when I'm walking on a public sidewalk, there's one person on the right, there's one person walking left forward, there's people in the middle, there's a group of people taking up the whole freaking thing with their arms, you know, everyone's all spread out, where no one can get by anyone. All right, number three, there's other hard habit to break. It's very funny. So if you guys know I was naval aviation, I was a part of a helicopter squadron for almost five years. And now as a civilian, anytime I hear a whirly bird. Every time I hear a rotary aircraft or a jet in the air, I always look up. Dude, I shit you not, I always have to look up and see what type of aircraft is flying overhead. I think that just has something to do about working on an aircraft carrier and always being aware of my surroundings because you can literally get blown off the deck, ran over, sucked into an intake, destroyed at any second on the carrier, on the flight deck. So, my wife will tell you, dude, anytime I hear a bird, I'm like looking, I'm like, oh shit. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn Dude, that's got out a nice tail faces. rotor, look at that main rotor, look at that landing gear. When I was active duty, I, got, I started getting a lot of tattoos. People say, is it an addiction? Can, once you get the first one, it's hard to stop. And I guess it just depends honestly on the person's personality. It depends if you have an addictive personality. I kind of do have one when it comes to this stuff. Um, also, it's helped me with my pain tolerance though. You know, being able to sit for hours and hours and get stuff um, needled into you in very sensitive locations helps with your pain tolerance, your mental toughness. I literally had on a scale of out of 10, where 10 is the most severe pain, I probably had an eight or an eight and a half migraine just last night. I just started feeling better. I probably slept like 10 hours um, into the afternoon this morning because I could not sleep all last night. I had the most severe freaking migraine I've ever had, dude. I was throwing up. I was literally throwing up from the nausea from how bad the pain was in the forward area of my head, like all in here and all in here. 
I now know that I have a really high pain tolerance though from getting all these tattoos. And I'm like, dude, you can suck it up. It's just a migraine. But I don't know what the hell that was. That was a migraine from hell. Taking quick showers. Once I got out, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna take a long ass shower now. Until I started uh, seeing my water bill, then I'm like, god damn it, I'm gonna have to take short showers again because you don't want to pay a big ass water bill. But alright guys, that's gonna be wrapping up the video. Thank you so much for all the support. 100,000 subscribers. Amazing number. We're on new roads now. We gotta have a new road and new goals as always. Once you hit a goal, you gotta set another one. Or else, what are you doing? And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Brand new videos almost every day. I'm gonna try to get on a better set schedule. I know my videos have been kind of sporadic. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And all the new subscribers, make sure you drop a thick like and make it plump. And make sure you pick up a JT Suits 100K celebration shirt. We have 100K merch. We got Papa merch, my boy Papa. We got Lobster Squad merch. Dude, everything's at jtcs.com. Definitely go check it out. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave, make it thick and make it plump. My boy Papa. He's a sweet man. And he's got a great plan. And his name is Pop.